do that again without getting too crazy. So direction, can you follow a feel? Nope, he can't, so I'll get, there we go. So there for a second, I was thinking, and, I, and that's fine that he did, nope, get back off me. That was fine that he, he went around and he stopped right there. Like right here, there we go. Give him direction again. See how he's leaning away from that? He's having a hard time following a feel. The feel is, can I follow it from there to this guy's hand? And if he can't, then I come in here with motivation. Motivation, 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 motivation. Come on, bud. You'll get it. There you go. And then as he goes off, even if all you get is one step, get off me. Even if all you get is one step, that's fine as long as you start gaining control of that shoulder. Now, if you watch him come around here, this would be the gate sour stuff where he gets over to this spot right here and he starts leaning into me, like right there. I don't like that. I'm going to go with that shoulder, push that shoulder out. And you'll see it probably right here again as he comes across you. Nope, he got the point. Nah, he kind of cut that corner there a little bit. I need him to be able to do this at a walk. He's keeping his distance a little bit. So that point I, I made to him about getting off me and keeping that shoulder away right there. I didn't like that. Push that shoulder out again. As soon as you start letting him start crowding you, there, that was much better right there. It'll come to a point where he'll just end up running over you. I get, I get the question all the time. All the time. All my horse will ever do is just sit there and face me. That's because nobody ever gets a hold of the shoulder. You get a hold of that shoulder and that's everything right there. 